Hello everyone. The animal world is a cruel, dangerous place where only the fittest can survive. Animals have learned to protect themselves in many ways though. Nature has given some creatures sharp claws and powerful jaws. Others run very quickly and are impossible to catch. And some are great at playing hide and seek. In scientific terms, the ability to make yourself look like another organism is known as mimicry. For example, an animal can change its color to merge with its environment, or they can be similar to other organisms. For example, many insects can't be distinguished from branches and leaves. In any case, nature's resourcefulness knows no limits. All we can do is be amazed and admire nature's work, and that's what we're going to do today. Here are nine animals with the most unusual camouflage on the planet. Let's get it on. Leptocephalus Newborn fish have many problems surviving during their first days in the world. Just picture this. You're living in the boundless, cold, gloomy ocean, surrounded by bloodthirsty predators. And you are a small, defenseless creature, and your parents are not around to protect or properly teach you how to survive. It's easy to feel bad for these small fish, but don't worry too much. Nature has everything under control. The Leptocephalus is not a species of fish, as you might think. In fact, it's a stage of development common among eels eels, morena, and some other inhabitants of the underwater kingdom. When these fish hatch from the eggs, they aren't much different from other aquatic newborns. But then their bodies enter a phase of short metamorphosis, and voila, the body becomes completely transparent. Little eels live like this from a few months to a couple of years, depending on the species. The size of these creatures also varies greatly. In some cases, the length of the body does not exceed a couple of centimeters. In other cases, it reaches several dozens. The largest registered leptocephalus was 184 centimeters long. Anyway, it's just a great survival technique. After all, you can't eat someone that you can't see. All body parts of the leptocephalus, from the skin to the internal organs, are all absolutely transparent. Pygmy Seahorse some creatures that live deep underwater are way too small and fragile to survive alone. The pygmy seahorse is one of them. This tiny living creature doesn't exceed two centimeters in length. Pygmy seahorses are found all over the world as well. For example, they were found south of Japan and Indonesia and north of Australia. The depth of their habitat varies from 10 to 40 meters. But there is one small problem. Pygmy seahorses are too good at the art of camouflage. They spend their whole lives on corals. The color and shape of their bodies is indistinguishable from coral branches. It's almost impossible to spot them. And even in close-up shots, you won't see them right away. For this reason, we know too little about these living things. But there's enough information already available to surprise you. Scientists know two variants of the color of these seahorses. Yellow with orange bumps, imitating the texture of the coral, and gray with red bumps. The color of the adult animal will be determined by the coral that becomes its home. So in 24 researchers managed to conduct an experiment. The baby of two yellow seahorses grew up to have a purple color, all because they put a purple coral in their aquarium. Pink-winged stick insect Remember at the beginning of the video, we talked about insects that have the shape of branches and leaves? Well, it was a little spoiler, because today we're going to talk about insects that are shaped like plants. We're going to start with the pink-winged stick insect. All the habits of this living creature are designed not to give away its presence under any circumstances. When the stick insect is resting, it looks like a branch swinging in the wind. When the insect feels threatened, it pretends to be dead. and it can't be distinguished from a real stick. Just look at that. The wings, back, and front legs merge together. Sometimes, to look even more natural, stick insects lose one of their limbs. For that, these insects, in our opinion, deserve an Oscar. By the way, they can reach 53 centimeters in length, and females are even larger than the males. Stick insects can be found in southern China, the islands of the Malay Archipelago, Australia, as well as Madagascar. Decorator Crab 
The creature is actually called the Spider Decorator Crab, but we're more interested in its middle name, and you'll see why. Perhaps we should start by saying that the Decorator Crabs are extremely common. You can find them on the shores of California, the Maldives, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Some have even been spotted in the Great Barrier Reef and the Red Sea coast. And everywhere these crabs live, they are a tasty prey for many predators. So what saves them from an inevitable death? They're very unusual addiction to fashion. Yeah, yeah, decorator crabs are the main fashionistas of the underwater world. In the claws of these creatures, algae or corals become a great accessory. The thing is that the body of these creatures is covered with very unusual hairs. When the crab places, for example, a sprig of algae on its body, it's secured in place. These decorations then change the appearance of the decorator crabs beyond recognition. Here's a crab, and now it's gone. It's blended in with the environment. Leaf insect. If you think you don't move much and are sad that you spend all day sitting at a computer, we know how to comfort you. At least you're not a giant leaf insect, because that's a creature that doesn't move at all. To be more precise, the leaf insect hardly ever moves. Its life depends on it. What? You don't understand why we're showing you leaves on a tree instead of an insect? Oh, just take a closer look. After all, this is a video about camouflage experts. Just like other animals in our video, leaf insects are a lovely snack for birds passing by. So all it has to do is pretend to be a leaf and hope it's doing a good job, which it does. Giant leaf insects are harmless creatures that feed on plant food. Having chosen a tree for itself, the insect spends its entire life on it. Amazingly, even to reproduce, the leaf insect performs a minimum of movements. The eggs just fall down to the ground. They're pretty well disguised too, by the way. They look a lot like seeds or excrement. This creature also goes by the giant Malaysian leaf insect, so you can probably guess where it lives. The Mossy Leaf-Tailed Gecko if you go for a walk in the forests of Madagascar, which is where the next creature lives, you would never spot it among the trees. That's because the mossy leaf-tailed gecko is a true camouflage expert. The color of its body is almost indistinguishable from the natural bark pattern of a tree. When the gecko freezes and stops moving, it blends in with its surroundings, confusing the predators. The small size of this gecko is also a good thing. The gecko's body is no longer than 20 centimeters long. This this creature mainly feeds on insects such as crickets, moths, and millipedes. Mossy Frog when you see this creature for the first time, you probably think that the skin of the frog is covered with either a thick moss or lichen. But strangely enough, no, no it's not. It's simply another master of disguise. The mossy frog lives in the wet forests of North Vietnam. To blend in better with the environment, the frogs prefer moss-covered areas near bodies of water. Caves, damp niches, half-decayed tree hollows, all these are ideal conditions in which mossy frogs are completely safe. They feed on small insects. Adults grow to a maximum length of 8 to 10 centimeters, but unfortunately, even camouflage does not save them from certain threats. Thus, these animals are at risk of extinction because humans are cutting down the forests in which they live. Oak Leaf Butterfly Nobody likes dry, withered, fallen leaves with almost no nutrients left in them. That's why pretending to be a dead leaf turns out to be a good strategy, and these butterflies have done it for several generations. The scientific name of this insect is the Kalima inacus. At the same time, it's very easy and very hard to find it at the same time. Easy because they live everywhere. In India, Nepal, Bhutan, southern China, Thailand, Vietnam, and a number of other countries. And hard because, yeah, it's almost impossible to distinguish this butterfly from other leaves. Only the lower side of the wing looks like a dead leaf, but the butterfly knows that well. When it wants to blend in with its surroundings, it folds its wings. The rear parts rest on the branch, masterfully mimicking the leaf stalk, and voila, there's no butterfly. By the way, in this case, nature has also thought about the fact that, depending on the seasons, the appearance of the forest changes. The butterflies born in the rainy season have darker wings to blend in better with the swampy leaves around them. Octopi 
blue blood, an inquisitive mind, a complete absence of bones in the body, and three hearts. You might think we're describing a scary monster from a horror film. However, these are just the characteristics of a common octopus. This strange creature is a dangerous predator that never ceases to amaze researchers and scientists. And it will amaze you too. That's why we're ending our video with this creature. This animal has literally taken stealth skills to the next level. Usually octopi are brown. However, everything changes when they feel threatened or when they activate predator mode. The skin of this creature is capable of changing color. It does this using different pigments in its cells. In response to commands from the central nervous system, these cells shrink and stretch, and that's what causes the color to change. Thus, the octopus doesn't depend on the environment and can hide just about anywhere. It has the ability to merge with any seascape, making it pretty dangerous to potential victims. But there's way more to it than that. The octopus is actually able to show emotion by changing its color too. For example, it's white when it's scared. An angry octopus turns red too. Some scientists believe that octopi are even capable of dreaming. Otherwise, why do their bodies change color when they're sleeping? Hey, stop being lazy. It's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now. You won't regret it.